What's up everybody, this is Necro Dave, and uh, if you know me at all, you may have heard recently that I just got the Jumbo Machine Dirt Gundam, which is pretty rare, and uh, so I'm pretty happy about it, and as a result, I decided to break out all the Jumbos, see how the collection's coming along, take a look at it en masse, and now since I have one of these fancy cameras that does the moving pictures, I thought I'd bring you along with me. There's Gundam back there in the back middle, being showcased thing is amazing. I wanted to put some of the older characters in the back, from the roots. Zynga and the Getter Robos. Don't have a Getter Robo 3. Do have all four first series villains there though. All three Uni 5 Garadas. Three more official Jumbo villains. And that guy right there is Tom Frank's custom Ankoku Dai Shogun. Blends right in, really nice. A couple of common riders and Ultraman Leo. He's another rare one. I scored a few years back. Start to move into more hero characters. Frider G7. Bunch of popies in the back there. I'm very limited for space here. I don't have a heck of a lot of room to walk. <clears throat> Get some Shogun Warriors, Spanish Nakoro robots, Venezuelan Famosa bots. You'll notice two distinct categories of jumbos that I really like to focus on. The villains I showed you before, and I'm showing you again now. And the bootlegs. I really love the strange ones. Like this guy from Argentina. Not a lot of people have him. Not a lot of people want him. He's ugly as hell. Speaking of ugly as hell, two more crazy Mazingas. One from Italy, one from Mexico. There's a great Mazinga from Hong Kong. A lot of people do want that one. Not a lot of people have it though. I'm pretty fortunate. More Shoguns. Another custom over there from Gerolock, the Geki Ganger. Geki Ganger 3, whatever he's called. I have no idea, I never watched that show. Two different Cosmos 2000 Carnival Machinders. Those were Carnival Prizes. This one may also have been a Carnival Prize. I'm not sure. Just discovered this. This is actually a bank of King Kong that was produced in Mexico. Uh, we believe it was produced in Mexico because there's a similar Frankenstein that was produced down there. Cast in yellow polyethylene, painted black. Also a bank, same size. Seems reasonable to think that they're from the same maker. Dunbine, 5 Robo, everybody's favorite. These are not duplicates, these are the Mexican Yugarama figures. They are almost exactly like their Popey counterparts. A few of which I've got back there. Common Rider and Getter One, Poseidon. few more bootlegs. One of my favorites, the yellow Dangard Ace from Italy. And a knockoff of that knockoff, a white Dangard Ace from Argentina. And another yellow Dangard Ace also from Argentina. That one's in terrible condition. That's why it's leaning forward. A couple of jumbo vinyls. Uh, most people don't really consider those vi jumbos, but a lot of jumbo collectors tend to have them. They're nice toys. We've got three different giant gorgs. The original, you can see in the darker color there, is produced by Takara. And these two bootlegs produced in Taiwan by an unknown maker. Two different stickers on those. And I just noticed another one. There's the King of the King from Korea. God Sigma knockoff with a Taekwon V head. Not a lot of Korean jumbos out there couple more than I know of, but I don't have them yet. I do have a few more that are not out here. I couldn't fit them. The uh, Jumbo Rangers that came out recently. Uh, what else do I have? I've got some other Jumbo plastic robots and things like that uh, up there. Space Valor. I forgot to put them together. All those boxes are empty. Same with all of those. 
Uh, in the back you'll notice the jumbo star screams sitting in the window, all three on the card. And uh, now the Power Rangers, Titan, from the same company that made the Gundam. Nowhere near as good though. That's the LJN Voltron, not Colion. I do store some of them in there. I've got them once I put all this stuff back, they'll be in the behind glass. Yeah, that's the vinyl case, not really what we're focusing on today. I also didn't bring out my junior machineders, my carnival machineders, or any other kind of big size stuff. I didn't see, I pretty much ran out of room there. So yeah end of the room but uh, not bad it's coming along someday hopefully I'll have about twice as many and uh, I guess I'll probably have to move the pool table at that point anyway not much else to tell I hope you enjoyed looking and uh, talk to you next time bye bye